Hello everybody, Lucifer with you. You are watching Go Virtual. After my last uh, video um, about the uh, spirit epos, I received many questions and one of them was this one. How do you know that epos comes from uh, the cliff of Gamchikot? which is ruled by the planet Jupiter and uh, yeah in fact many people have asked me to explain the Goetia and how to classify the spirits so here is the Goetia I am on page 68 there's a list of spirits as you can see and here you can clearly see that there is a division of spirits. This is the astrological sign of Sun. And these are the spirits. There's this group of spirits, the Sun, solar spirits. They come from the shell, the Klifa, that is called Tagirion. And it is also called Tagararim in the Key of Solomon. On the tree of life, this shell corresponds to the Sephira of Tifaret. So uh, these spirits are all summoned during a Sunday and during the astrological hour of the sun. And the next astrological sign is that of Venus. You see there's a group of spirits here. They are all dukes and they come from a place on, a, on the tree of death or tree of knowledge that is called Harab Sirapel on the tree of life. This space corresponds to the Sephira of Netza. The next astrological sign is planetary sign is that of Jupiter and you see here are the princes and prelates these spirits belong to the shell of Gamchikot the shell is called Gamchikot so is written in the key of Salomon and um, on the tree of life then uh, the sphere that is ruled by the planet uh, Jupiter is called Chiset. The next uh, sign is that of the moon. And you see here is a group of spirits that all belong to uh, the Klifa, which is called Gamaliel on the tree of death or tree of knowledge. And on the tree of life. The sphere that is ruled by the planet moon is called Yesod. The next sign is that of Mercurius. You see here are, uh, here is a group of spirits. Among them Marbas, the healer demon. So um, these spirits come from a shell on the tree of death that is called Samael and on the tree of life this uh, Sephira is called Hod. Uh, the next sign is that of Marsh, the planet Marsh. And again you can see a group of spirits that all belong to a shell that is called Golab. Golab is ruled by the planet Marsh and Golab is located on the tree of death or the Clifotic tree. Uh, the corresponding Sephira is Gebora and it is also ruled by Marsh. Gebora is on the tree of life, the Sephirotic tree. 
uh, the next sign is that of Saturnus, and there's only one spirit, Furcas. Um, on the tree of um, death, tree of knowledge, there is a shell that is called Satariel, and this space is ruled by the archdemon Lucifuge, that who is um, the dark twin of Lucifer. So Furcas comes from Satariel, which is ruled by Lucifuge. On the tree of life, the Sephirotic tree of life, a, the sphere that is ruled by the planet Saturnus is called Bina. And uh, let's move to my computer. Um, wait, if I can focus. No, I can't. I can't. Here is the tree of life. This is the leaf. And um, the spheres are called Sephirot. Each sphere has a matching color. And uh, from they are numbered from top to bottom. The first two are not important when we work with Goetia, but the third one, uh, which is black and gray, there in the upper left corner, is called Bina. And uh, this Sephira is ruled by Saturnus. And the corresponding um, shell on the tree of death is then, we must scroll down, I think. Wait, if I can get it. Uh, here, we are here. You see, if you imagine that this tree of death stands right behind the tree of life, uh, your understanding of Kabbalah will become very easy. You see, there is a sphere in the upper left corner. It is called Satariel, and Lucifuge rules this space. So that spirit, we were talking about Furkas from Goetia, he comes from this sphere, Satariel, which is ruled by uh, the planet Saturnus. And uh, the sphere of Mars on this tree of death is called Golab. It is right beneath the shell, which is called Satariel. And Asmadeus rules this place. So um, I had mentioned in my previous videos that um, most of the spirits from which are mentioned in Grimorium Verum come from the shell that is called Golab. So Golab is located right beneath Satariel, and uh, Klaunek comes from there. He's red. I, I summon him during Tuesdays. So you have to uh, make an easy model for yourself to understand. Uh, do not uh, imagine that uh, the tree of death is a, a mirror image that is hanging upside down. Uh, a mirror image of the tree of life because this will become very difficult and confusing. Place the tree of death right behind the tree of life and you will align these um, Klifa to Sephira and uh, your understanding will become very easy. And also I think that this um, this chapter in the Key of Solomon on page one hundred twenty one in this oy, in this version of the key of Solomon is very good because sorry 
because it explains uh, the Clifford and the ruler, rulers of the Clifford and the uh, Sephiroth and the rulers of the Sephiroth. So if you then draw two trees, one tree is the tree of um, death and the other is the tree of life and you color it and uh, place out the astrological symbols and write down some information like the color and the gems and um, the number and so on the metal everything will become clear to you it comes with practice when you start summoning spirits from the Goyeshia and also some uh, archangels for regular workings and so on so this will become very crystal clear this was it I think that I have answered the question how do you know uh, about Epos from which sphere does he come he comes from the sphere that is called Chizet um, no, he comes from the sphere that is called Gamchikot, and that sphere is um, matched to the Sephira of Chiset. And the ruling planet, planet is Jupiter, and therefore Epos is summoned during Thursdays and during the astrological hour of Jupiter. And this is it. Thank you for watching Go Virtual with Lucifera. Goodbye. I see you next time soon. Hope I hope so. Bye bye.